Hey y'all, uh, thank you so much for the happy happy Thanksgiving uh, wishes and I uh, want to wish y'all's families and, and y'all uh, uh, happy holidays and, and everything to come. Um, what we're going to do today is uh, I reckon I'm going to shoot another little home video here and see that two before attached to my, my little uh, my post over. What I'm going to do today is I'm going to make like a I'm going to make actually going to make like a temporary pole like it make a temporary pole and the reason we're making a temporary pole is because today we're going to do uh, switches and switch receptacles 101 uh, I'm sure a lot of y'all in here already know what to do and all uh, this is kind of like I said on the last one this is for the new fellers coming into the trade I knew that uh, you know back when I was coming up it was kind of hard for anybody to show me anything uh, and I think it was job security uh, mixed with uh, you know before they give up all their secrets are you really gonna stay in the trade so but as for me uh, y'all can ask me whatever you want to and hell I'll be glad to share anything with you so uh, here we go I'm gonna mount my two before box here I've already squared it up I put my level on it put my level on it and I scribe me a line that's what I always do that way my level don't go flying off okay we're good to go uh, let me uh, let me get everything together and everything and uh, we'll get back after and uh, we'll uh, do some wiring and uh, maybe uh, do a little switch receptacle too and uh, show how to piggyback and all that. But uh, got these in the mail today. Well actually I got them yesterday. Yeah boy. Alright, uh, I'll holler at y'all in a bit. Okay y'all, what we do now is we have our box mounted, right? What I usually do is I'll take me a, a, a beat up old screwdriver. I'll take it, you know, and whack, whack, whack. Whack, whack, whack. And I'll take my pair of linemen. Grab hold of your nub. Bam, she's out. Grab hold of your nub. Bam, she's out. So now what we're going to do is usually. 90% of the time, okay, we're running this and we're hooking it to a furnace. This would be connected to your furnace or this or this, whichever one, and you'd run not a BX connector, but uh, back on it. Uh, I can't remember the name of it, uh, but it's a connector. It doesn't have the screws on it, and it uh, it'll uh, that way you can actually like say your electrical box on the inside of your furnace, you actually push this through your electrical box on the inside of your furnace. And, you know, then you tighten it up and this way it's going to be mounted to your furnace. This is just a simulation now. This is what you run for Romex wire or BX. Okay? Uh, of course, I'm missing my connector in here. And here in the state of Kentucky, also, more than likely, your your high voltage line is going to be running down from out of your joy space up here. Okay, you know, and it's so you know kids can't get their hands in it and whatnot. So it would usually be a piece of BX coming to the top. You know, to give you your, your high voltage feed uh, out of your panel box, which is probably going to be a 15 amp breaker, um, or a piece of conduit, okay? But uh, this is just a simulation, like I said, so we're going to actually, you know, run some wire in here and, uh, you know, wire it up, okay? Okay, y'all, here's, uh, here's the real deal. Um, this is what I was talking about coming out of your joist. You know, I've got a junction box up here. There's my, uh, what is that, 14.2. Now see that's 14.2 because 14.2 re requires a 15 amp breaker or the furnace requires a 15 amp breaker. Okay, and then I take BX all the way down, okay? That goes into my, my switch, okay? And that's what I was telling you, the box is actually mounted to the furnace and then there's a, uh, you know, here's your, your electrical box right here for your furnace and uh, for your switch and that little fitting goes inside there and that way it keeps your uh, wire from getting cut and whatnot so uh, anyway uh, so like I said that's just a simulation we're doing in here and uh, 
what I've done was uh, all I had out in the truck was some, well I have some more wire but this is what I had laying loose so this is 10-2 okay 10-2 uh, you run a 20 amp breaker on that uh, alright well let's just do it uh, a 14 2 is what I usually run on the furnaces that requires a 15 amp breaker a 20 amp breaker requires 12 2 wire a 30 amp breaker is 10 2 wire and a 40 amp breaker is 8 2 wire uh, they call it 10 2, 8 2, what not because they're including these two wires right here they never they're including these two wires here your, uh, your hot and your neutral they never include the ground okay unless they specify the ground okay that's why they call it 10 to but anyway what I've done was uh, this is going to represent my furnace and furnace is your load okay voltage is your line okay and that's like uh, whenever you go to do a disconnect box outside it'll say line and load on it so now you know which one's what okay this is your load your furnace your appliance the voltage coming in feeding your appliance is your line okay all right well uh, let me get some stuff tied together here and uh, we'll get right back after it. Okay, y'all, we got her wired up here. Uh, piece of cake, like I said, I'm sure y'all seen this before. Heck, it's running a regular furnace switch is like running a light switch. Uh, like we said, we got our voltage, our line coming in. You always, always do it with my switch off and you want to make sure, you know, you can see the lettering, you know, and it always goes down here on the bottom. This is what's going to be powering it we have the furnace here which is the load and this light will be representing the furnace okay um, I like to bend my my wire around my my, my nut right there my screw right there uh, real tight and uh, you always make your bend you know going in the direction of the screw that way this the wire will actually wrap around it okay um, on a switch you just tie your two neutrals together and uh, what I do here is I piggyback my my uh, my ground wires okay and that's what I do and usually it's gonna be the uh, yellow wire and that's not these reds going in there uh, for the simple fact that uh, you know this is a uh, 10 2 wire and such but uh, anyway uh, <clears throat> let's button it down and uh, <laughs> see if we don't get a spark all right yeah y'all uh, one other quick tip uh, I like to take uh, electrical tape and wrap it around my lugs there see what I'm doing there and that way you don't have any possibility of that uh, thing grounding out up against your box okay y'all let's uh, let's see if our temporary switch here works we're going hot okay there we go that's your furnace Wop. on off on off Okay, let's uh, see if we got time for a switch receptacle. That's where that piggybacking is going to come in at. All right. Okay, y'all, I got her wired up. Uh, I've got my my voltage line, my line leading in, and like I said, I like to run my switch receptacles where I always have my receptacle hot, for the simple fact that uh, a lot of times you'll come into a basement or whatnot, and uh, you don't have a, a plug or anything to plug into. And even with this, you know, you want to kill your uh, your uh, furnace, you'd still like to be able to run a light. Now you ain't got to string out uh, 5,000 foot of cord. You got a hot receptacle right there. So what I do is I'll take my 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 line in, which is my high voltage, and I take it down to this uh, this terminal here. Okay, and then I also I always screw this terminal in, so I don't want it grounding out against my box or anything. But that's where that black tape comes into play too. I like doing that too. Um, what I do here is I piggyback. I'll come off, see my ground wire here. Now, don't trip out now. What this is representing is like how I showed you earlier about five minutes into the video where we, uh, were, uh, I said, I was th trying to think of the name of that. It's called a chase nipple. You put your chase nipple in here that actually mounts to your furnace and it holds, you know, it holds your box on there also. And uh, then you can run your wires into the box inside your furnace, okay? You can run it inside your furnace. This is just a simulation now. Um, and that way you don't have all these wire nuts inside your box itself. Okay? So what I do is I'll come up here to this to this brass terminal. And I'll take one long strand of wire. You know, I'll take me a, 
you know, a big old piece of wire about like that or so, and and uh, I'll uh, attach it right here, and that, that's how I like to bend them there, and then I'll tighten it as I go. But uh, I'll attach it, you know, right there, and then I'll stub it back into the furnace itself. Then what I do is I'll take the wire from my furnace, and I'll tie my two blacks together, and there, that's that's piggyback to black. Okay, now on your neutral, you go here to this uh, to this uh, silver uh, lug here, and you'll take and take you know like, a, like what I've got right here, like one of these long wires, except for it's going to be white, and bring it back out of my new chase nipple into my furnace. This is representing that box of my furnace. This is right here. Okay, uh, and you're going to actually have. Uh, three wires coming off this because you're going to have your one your your piggyback and then you're going to have the one uh, neutral coming from your line okay and you're going to have the neutral coming from your furnace and this is what's representing that so you've actually got three wires on your neutral same thing goes for your 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 uh, your uh, ground wire here you've got uh, your ground coming in from your voltage line voltage and you've got your ground coming in from your furnace and you've got your ground that uh, we piggybacked off of right here Okay, and that's what I do. I'll take and uh, I'll put that in that little box that I showed you earlier, like I said, about five minutes in, and this is what's all in that box, okay? So, uh, that's basically how to wire it. Uh, you know, you can wire it to where, you know, this switch here, uh, the, uh, the receptacle doesn't come on till uh, you hit the switch, and that'd be up here. So, uh, anyway, uh, let me uh, button this thing up and... Uh, See if we can't get a little demonstration going on here, okay? All right, just bear with me. And like I said, that one fitting is called a chase nipple. And uh, okay, well let's uh, let's get after it. Okay, y'all, we got our button back down. Uh, all right, let's say we come in and uh, furnace is making a hell of a noise, big old racket, and you want to get in there and uh, take a look at the blower or whatnot. So you kill your switch. See, she's in the off position. And. Uh, you got your little trouble light, but you don't want to, you can't find another uh, uh, receptacle. So, this, uh, this should stay hot. So, let's see what she does. There we go. Okay. All right. And that could also be representing the pump, too. You know, the pump is going to, it's going to be hot, but that pump ain't going to call until, you know, the, the float lifts up. So, you know, it's no big deal having that hot all the time. Um, there's different circumstances for everything, too, guys. But, uh, okay, now let's say, okay, we want to fire the furnace up. Let's see, the lights representing the furnace. Bam! All right, bop! And there we go, furnace is fired up. Your pump is pumping, pumping the water out because you run a, you know, you got a 95% furnace going there. But, uh, man, that's all there is to it. Uh, not really that complicated, but uh, I don't suggest anybody doing this if they're not qualified to do it, okay? Uh, this is kind of just a, like a, a learning lesson, and then, uh, you know, y'all need to get your licenses and whatnot, and, you know, then it's time to go. But uh, let me clarify, too, when I was saying 10-2 wire, the 2 portion of it means the 2 wires, the, uh, the uh, neutral and your hot. The 10 is the gauge wire that... Uh, you're talking about and uh, now they have it all color coded like this orange wire here is 10 2 and this white wire here is uh, 14 and I want to show off my new pecs anyway I, we just got done running this pecs here and uh, see that yeller there that yeller is 12 12 2 so it's all color coded but uh, what do y'all think about my new uh, my new ball valves there I've got it controlled to the outside spigot and I've got the uh, the uh, kitchen sink control too so uh, if anything were ever to fail um, I can isolate and we can still have running water here but uh, anyway guys uh, I appreciate y'all watching and all and uh, hope that helps some of y'all out some I reckon I'll talk at you later bye